All right. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Hedgy stream. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hope you guys are doing all right tonight. Uh, let's turn that down just a hair. That was a little, it's a little intense, right? Like a little whoosh in the face, and then yeah, that's uh, trying to get this lighting right has really been like a pain in the balls. I'm not gonna lie. And then like it, like I said, it never saves because like the mem the lights don't have like memory, so it's a little crazy. But welcome, hey Croto, how are you doing? You said, oh, I assume you're excited for the JD40, the OG JD40. I would assume that. Um, but I'm excited to do a little pre-Thanksgiving stream since um, I have stuff to do and fill time to fill. I got to I gotta finish some of William's stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to send back uh, quite a few boards to him. We're going to send back the TMO. Um, we're going to send back the... Um, I had to think, wow, the JD40. We're gonna send back five of the Mech Vault 35s. Um, I actually did fin. I finished those. I I finished them yesterday, believe it or not. Um, each one is soldered. He's so lucky. Each one is soldered for any layout he wants. Um, so that's pretty cool. I didn't do stabilizers like he could do the stabilizers, which is neat. Um, and he's got one other one: JD40, the Mech Vaults, the TMO. Oh, well, the JD-45 and then the JD-40. So he's going to get a couple boards back so he can start using them. I don't want to hold all his stuff. We still have plenty more from him. We've got some gold bats. We've got some Kaz uh, builds. We've got two cast and wagons, a liminal, or two liminals, I think. Um, we've got a Z-50. I think it's Z-50. Um, we've got a lot. So, like, we still have a ton of shit. And on top of that... Next week, I'm going to do the Machida, which I'm going to show off here again. Uh, for those of you who didn't see it last week, I'm going to show off the Machida. And then we've also got both Legacy Vault 45s or Legacy Vaults, whatever you want to call them, which is basically the updated case and mount for the JD-45 that uh, Kane did. So that's exciting. Um, and then, like, Pegasus is going to ship soon. Like, we've got so much stuff it's very very exciting so i'm glad you guys can be here nikki nice to see you again how are you i hope you're doing well rhymer is here as always rhymer's like probably my biggest supporter um and definitely cool because i met him in person which was sick so uh, glad he's here and uh yeah i'm excited tonight tonight will be fun um it should be short which will be good like i don't want to have like a really long stream i think I don't know if I'm cut out for long streams, and I, or maybe it's just not doing the same thing over and over, like really tedious shit with the with the vaults and doing the hot swap socket. So though I got into a rhythm with them last night with the three remaining boards and just knocked them out, um, but it's very tedious, and I don't know how long I can stream for personally. Like, I feel like three hours, three and a half hours might be like my absolute limit. So I'm gonna try and just remember that going forward, uh, but. Most of my streams are two hours or so. You guys know that now, which is great. So that's awesome. Nikki says she's doing good, which is cool. Rhymer is glad to be here, as always. Thank you, bud. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, like I said, let's have some fun before Thanksgiving for those of us in the U.S. Um, Tears is here. Awesome. What's going on, Tears? Yo, yo, yo. That's I love that that's your intro every single time. Never fails. It never fails, and I love that. So um, I do want to start off tonight. Um, before we get into the build, I want to talk about some switches I got that were, I'll say they're a little pricey for what they are, but they're awesome. They are really, really good. And Finite in Discord suggested them to me, and I was hesitant and on the fence. Um, it took a while to get to me because I came from China, but they are so good. They're so, so, so good. So... grab this let me show you the first let me show you the, the box they came in they are from ttc this one's got the other case in it yeah doesn't matter so first of all they came in a shipping box and then they came in this box and i was like okay like presentation wise this is super nice i was like let's go like that's a really nice box and then you open it and i did take out the packing material but then you get this case and what's awesome is um, I, like I said, I took out the packing materials. They're stacked six by six by six um, by six by six by six. There's 36 switches in here. So six times six, 36 switches in here. And 
They're stacked neatly. It's like the nicest presentation I've had. And now I have like two cases, two boxes for switches, which is which is great. Um, and yes, tears. These are the purple. So these are TTC flaming purple, um, or they they make a white one called uh, flaming snow. They're both the same, just colors. Uh, this is the this is the purple, which is all purple, top and bottom housing. It's got a POC, P-O-K stem, um, which I guess is a new material. These, they don't need any lube. They need none. Like, I've got 35 of them right now sitting right here in the vault. They are so good out of the box. Like, insanely good. Um, and, and I'm, like, genuinely impressed with them. Now, here's the catch. If you go through... Uh, metkeys.com uh, which is where I got them they're $29.99 plus shipping for $36 if you go through AliExpress they're even more expensive although I think the shipping is slightly cheaper to make up for that because that's how that always works I'm going to drop the link I'm not affiliated with these guys in any way as you guys know like the only sponsor I've ever had is Jake at P3D store so I'm not I'm not saying like I I'm not like affiliated, nothing like that, but, um, oh, you're not gonna let me paste. Oh yeah, you are. Okay. There we go. Um, there's the link. If you guys are interested, um, uh, like I said, they are a little pricey, but these are really, really good. Like stupid good. Um, every time this song comes on, I always feel like it's so loud. I don't know if you guys can feel that a little bit. Let's turn it down a little bit, but, um, I will say this from like a sound standpoint and like they, they're smooth. They're so smooth, there's no wobble, but from a sound standpoint, they're really, really good. Like super, super happy. And this is in an acrylic case with a, with a PC plate or whatever it was, PC plate. Like this board should sound okay. And it sounds freaking awesome. And yes, the price is steep. I, again, I'm not saying, like, go buy them. I'm not, like, advocating. I'm not like, oh, hey, you should definitely rep these. I'm just saying from, like, a... Like, I'm happy with a Switch decision right now. These are it. Like, they're just... They're really, really good. And I love a Switch that truly, like... I know I've been given some. Um, if Like, I've been given some that people are like, oh, it doesn't need lube. And then, like, I find out if I lube them, they're a lot better. These truly, in my opinion, don't need any lube. And again, like no wobble, super, super smooth. They're pretty too, like they're super pretty. These are gonna go on the Machita. Like I already know that. I They're so good that I, I had ordered 72 initially, so there's 35 in here. That means that there's 30, uh, 37 right here. Um, I ordered another 72. That's how good they are. I thought about going with the snow ones, the, the which is a clear top and a white base and a white stem, but I was like, I have plenty of like clear and white switches. Like the purple looks good. These are gonna go on the Machita. So when I build Machita next week, which I think will be th Thursday, I think. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. They're going in though, just be aware. That's how good I like these. And that means like, especially because the Machita, in my opinion, is, is such a good looking board that I want it to be a good build. And like, it doesn't have to be color themed, although the keycaps are gonna match. Um, but yeah, just, I was happy with the presentation with these. I'm happy with the way they perform. They've been in here. I used them all day today in my, I used them yesterday in my vault. Um, super, super happy with that. So just throwing that out there for you guys. I know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not sponsored. I'm just saying I really like them personally and giving my suggestion. And you guys know I've been around the hobby a long time. So I know my switches, or at least I tend to uh, a little bit, which is cool. So th that was really cool. Uh, the second piece, where did I put it? Oh, so I learned my lesson. If you were here on stream last week and you hung out through the builds, um, you know that I burned my Winkies mat. So two things about that. Number one is I can go buy another Winkies mat, which is great. I probably will because I feel awful that I burned it. And that one's already scratched up. Um, so I wanted to be extra careful about that. So that sucked, burning it. I didn't like burning it. Literally took the soldering iron and went like right into the mat. It happens. Okay. So to combat that, I got smart. 
And I ordered a heat-resistant silicone mat. So uh, from now on, I'll be building on this, or at least soldering on this a bit more. So that way I can save my mat and it's got places for my screws and all that. So uh, that makes me a little bit happier. That way I don't have to worry about the mat as much, even though that means I'm using it. I did get the heat proof silicone, you know, good for like whatever it is, 900 degrees Fahrenheit, supposedly. Uh, so if I drop the soldering iron in here, it's not going to hurt anything. So that's good. Yes. And, and you're right, Tier. It's about time, right? I should have done this a long time ago, but um, just was super lazy, didn't know where to start. And this was like $15 on Amazon, so I bought it. And it's got places for all the screws. We're good. Uh, Tinner says, what's up? What's up, Tinner? How are you? I hope you're doing all right. Um, so yeah, super happy with that. We're going to have fun tonight. I want to show you, I did something to the Machida. Some of you may have seen it. And if you haven't, I wanted to at least show it off because I'm pretty proud of it. That mat is solid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy I bought it. I think you use one nap, right? I think you use one, something like that. Pull this out. Sorry, it's a little heavy. Yeah, you do. That's right. I thought I could remember that first read. Yeah, Tinner, I'm glad you're here too. Alright. So keen eyes. Yeah. Gross ass fingerprints in there. Whatever. Alright, so keen eyes will notice something about this. If you didn't catch it last week. Oh, this camera really struggling to focus. What's if you can tell what's different? I don't know if someone can tell what's different, but super happy with how this turned out. And if you didn't catch the pictures, I infilled the weight. Um, and like, no joke, I feel like I'm becoming the master of infill. <laughs> like this was hard, um, and it's still not perfect. There are some definite like. If I hold it um, like this, you guys can't tell, which is, you know, again, I said this last week on stream, nothing is has to be perfect. Nothing's going to be perfect, um, but it looks good here. I will show you. I will get up close just so you guys can see. Well, shit, doesn't even show on camera. That's amazing. It looks flawless on camera. That's hilarious. Well, I'm just going to leave it at that. You guys can't see the imperfections and I'm happy. <laughs> uh, it took like five tries. Um and there's still, like I said, there's some air bubbles. There's some little, like, deep pockets in there. Um, so, but you guys can't tell. It looks perfect. So, I'm super, super happy with how this came out. Um, and I I wasn't going to do a white on black theme. Like, I, I just did white because white contrasts, obviously, with black so nice. I've got, like, this nice light, like, almost baby blue-ish kind of that I thought about doing. And I was like, nah, I passed on that because I already did it for... I did similar for Curio, um, and I've got this like cool color ship gold, but it's a real bitch to keep clean and do right. Like you can't do this. So, um, yeah, like um, super, super happy with how this came out. It matches the laser engraving or whatever that is up top. Um, so this is now fully, fully infilled. I love the little name in the middle. The only thing I didn't fill is like you can see 2022 fruity key, but I didn't do that. Um, but again, super, super happy. And thank you guys for the compliments. I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this. So, um, yeah, that build, this build will be, like I said, I think on, uh, maybe Thursday just to get, I like, but I don't need to lube switches now. So I don't know. So, um, I got to work with fruit, see when fruit wants me to do it. Maybe, maybe get his input and we'll go from there. So. I do just an ASMR stream where I don't talk one time and just... I, I, I get, like, grossed out by ASMR sometimes. Because sometimes I think people overdo it. Like, the people that eat, and they're like... And I'm like, ew, I don't want to hear you eating. Like, that's disgusting. I don't want to hear that crap. I don't know how many... I don't know why people like listening to that. But, hey, if that's what you like, more power to you, I guess. And thank you for the compliments, Shiny. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Nikki, thank you very much. And like I said, if you guys, um, so here's my tips for infill, because I think there needs, there, there's definitely some tips to make it successful. Number one, most important, you need water-based acrylic paint. You can get it at Michael's. It's like $2 a, uh, 
tube thing or whatever it is, the container. Uh, <laughs> Tier says, I'm not convinced ASMR isn't a fetish. I'm pretty sure it is. Like, at this point, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but you need water-based acrylic paint. And the reason it needs to be water-based is so that if you screw up initially, you can basically take hot soapy water and rub and it'll come right off. Number two, and I think this is the most important part. I've been successful on just anodized aluminum. I have. My Space 65 had um, acrylic infill in white and it was successful. But I noticed a little bit of streaking. Not much, just a little bit. Like if you got up close, you can see the streaking. I find that you need either a smooth coated or an E-coated surface or similar where there's no like cracks, there's no like way for the paint to like soak in at like a microscopic level. It needs to be able to just rub off. Um, and that's why the Pearl was successful because the Cerakote on it was super smooth. That's why this Machita with the E-coated weight, super smooth, easy to do. Um, the Curio, Cerakoted, super smooth, easy to do. You see where I'm going with that. So I think that's the easiest way. Those are the those are the two like big factors. After that, it's just time and patience. And the hard part is letting the paint dry. So you basically, like you have your infill logo, you pour some paint in there and it'll come in thick and that's fine, you want extra. And you take like a silicone, um, either like a baking scraper or like, the paint ones I think are a little too rough. You need one that's not gonna like scratch your surface or dig in, you need something super smooth and just spread it over the design and come back and spread again. Let it sink in there, let it fill in there and get it to where like the parts that are filled in are filled in and the parts that are level with the rest of the weight or whatever you're infilling, um, you can barely see through. Like you wanna be able to see on the Machita, for example, I wanted to see a little bit of the black design itself and let it dry. You let it dry for like five hours. Like literally just let it dry and then you take a wet paper towel and go around the outside and start cleaning up. And they're not paper towel, I'm sorry, microfiber. Paper towel will scratch, so microfiber. And then take a dry one and clean. And then wet and clean and wet and clean. And then when you get to the design, you just rub lightly and it should start to come off. And if you mess up, you wash it and do it again. It's super easy. It's a little nerve wracking each time you do it, but super, super easy. Um, yeah, well, I mean, Will, I, I, I'm happy to, to try and do it for you. Absolutely. And there's tons of colors at Michael's. Like, that's where I get my paint. It's super easy. I think I've got, like, eight colors. Um, if you have ones in particular that you want to do, I'm just... I haven't done it on brass, and I'm a little nervous to do it on brass. And anodized doesn't make me feel comfortable, but if you have Cerakoted ones, then I can definitely think about doing that for you. So, um, happy to help. And and anybody else who needs it done or wants it done... Um, please feel free. I, I, I'm happy to do it for you. So um, anyway, that's why I want to show off tonight. Um, so I appreciate you guys kind of rolling through me with that for the first 20 minutes and just kind of let me blab. Um, definitely interested because tonight will be quick, or at least it might be. I'm definitely interested to hear what you guys are doing for Thanksgiving, if you celebrate, um, if you're here in the U.S., any plans. I know my wife, my daughter, and I, we're going with some family friends to a lake house tomorrow. We'll be there through Sunday, which is awesome. Really looking forward to that, even though I'm going to have like seven or eight packages arrive between Thursday and Saturday. Um, it'll be hectic trying to get all that together, but whatever. Um, I got my neighbor collecting for me, which is great. They're all like keyboard related stuff too. We've got like Embrace stuff. I've got some personal things, like some more switches, etc. So it'll be pretty crazy. Uh, William says, hopefully peace and quiet. Nice. So, um, tonight I already desoldered this. I got my desolder gun working perfectly. I'm super happy about that. Um, I desoldered the PCB. Um, oh yeah. And Will's, uh, William's other, uh, mech vault, vault 35 PCB. We're going to do that. I'll, I'll fix that one up. And then I need to get with you, William, about ordering more Milmax sockets um, for the right size just to match everything we've done so far. But I'll take that offline with you. No worries. I appreciate you uh, helping me out with that. Um, this, though, uh, is exciting because this is an OG board. Super OG. I remember when I came into the hobby when you could go on one-up keyboards and buy this. You can't buy it anymore. I don't think they've had it for a long time. Um, it's basically a carbon fiber skeleton case. William, you put the sticker on there. Nice. Um, with big bump ons. And um, I know, I know, man, you're good. Uh, <laughs> and we are going to take out this uh, clip on stabilizer 
and we're going to do the split space which requires no stabilizers that's why this build is going to be super easy and we're doing it with ktt strawberries which are great switches out of the box too so um this will be a fun one and this should be relatively easy tonight which is great um tears says i'll be suffering through these new braces i got today Ugh. how old are you tears i'm just curious um it's not fun braces are, i had braces when i was 13 13 through like 15 i think right when i turned 15 i got them off so need to go back and get more my teeth aren't straight anymore <laughs> or go back and do uh invisalign or um or uh oh i should say uh smile direct since that's my customer at work smile direct is my customer i should probably say smile direct <laughs> so yeah um nap says how many vaults did you mill max total so far five with every layout possible there's six layouts that bottom row is a bitch i'm just gonna say that but i did get it done so five vaults one more to go uh and we'll be good to go uh Camburger says, hey, yo, happy holidays. Happy happy holidays, Cam. Nice to see you here. Thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate that. Um, Tier says, 36. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so you're my age. You know. You know how it goes. Like I said, I may have to go... May have to go with Invisalign or Smile Direct or one of those guys. Um, I bet that layout was a pain. Yeah, with the all the... That bottom row, it's just there's so many options. Like, on every 40s, there's there's so many options. And just, you know, having to mill max all those was a real bitch. But, hey, it got done. We're good. I'm happy. Can't complain. I will say, William, this PCB was dusty. I don't know how long this thing's been sitting. But um, I do know that, like, the JD45 and this are totally something that would suit you and that you would do. So... Um, super happy to build this for you, though. Like, this seems like a William build. That's all I'll say. Just if you knew him before he took a break from the hobby and came back. Which is exciting, so. Alright. Like I said, I'm not spending a ton of time on this tonight. Um, I gotta get ready for tomorrow. I do want to play some games tonight and not stay up till, you know, God knows when o'clock, because that's what's been happening lately. I've been staying up till, like, 2 a.m. every night. It's awful. I can't sleep. So, yeah, that's been fun. There we go. Tears says, BRB, you gotta pretend to work. Yeah, I've been there for that. Uh, Will says, yes, a big JD Carp follower. Yeah. Um, and a reminder, like, this is one up. Um, this is a JD40 keyboard PCB MK2 from 2016. So, JD was, I think, if my, if my memory serves and history is correct, JD was like one of the first 40s boards, period. Like, I, I'm pretty sure like this was the first 40. Uh, and if not, it was pretty damn close. And he is an OG, like absolute OG. So he had this first, and then I think the JD 45 or vice versa. I think the four, actually, I think the 45 came first. Um, and then this, if I recall correctly. So he kind of paved the way with a 45 and a 40. He did do the GH60. That's right. Uh, no, so it was the other way, Will. It was it was the 40 and then the 45. Um, I remember the 45 was cool, too. Okay, round one JD40 was first. Right. And then the JD45 and then the keycaps. Um, so you could get, like, the whole kit. And I, like I said, I had a blocked JD45 for a while. Um, that's a desired board. Like, people want that board because it's high profile and like that's what the inspiration for the vault 35 the legacy vault that's where that came from and that says as will mentioned and the reason that kane and his designs are so influenced by that so um speaking of kane did you guys see the oracle teaser today oh my god i need this i need the oracle like whew, i didn't think that i would like the vault 35 so much now that i do and knowing that oracle is just basically adding switches up top with a with a um knob what's up gnarly and um like it, oh and the uh the exploded space bar i need this board i need the board I, like i remember when i first saw it i was like i was really skeptical i'm like it's not for me but i fuck with it now that i use the vault 35 i fuck with it so yes yeah, the white one. Um, so I'm um, I'm pretty excited. Tenor, like, um, have, do you have one? Do you have a vault? Because I'm happy to help. Like, and I'm happy to post my layout um, and what's worked for me so far and kind of trying to figure out. Like, I don't need split space at this point. Like, I'm going to try and um, 
wait for the 6U stabs from Ringer Keys to come and then build a 6U layout in here. So I'll hot swap the 6U. Um, but yeah, like, yes, I will remind me, Tenor, like, shoot me a DM while we're on stream and then I'll get to it. And um, I'll shoot you my layout from Vile. It's it's combo based, right? So Q and W is tab, K and L is enter. Um, this is quote, but if I hold it, it becomes layer one. This is layer two. Like it's very it's a very simple layout, but maybe something to kind of help get you sparked and get you t you know tweaking to the way you want, which I think will be super helpful. So and yes, gnarly, the underglow is sick, and it's a little different because it's PCB mount. I think it's I think you said gasket PCB. I believe I'm gonna have to take a look here real fast. I'm super excited for it. Like I didn't think I would be, and yet he's still got to do Curio first, so it might be a while. Although I think he might be, I might go in on a Proto with him, or he might be sending me one to build. Um, although if, if he's gonna do Protos, I'd rather pay for one and just be part of that. <laughs> um, but it looks sick. Let's see what he said. He said, uh because that was this morning right no yesterday yesterday evening he posted the white one which that white looks good that white looks so good um although i feel like i'd want like maybe a gray or something um where is he did he say it this morning he said it this morning right yeah gasket gasket pcb mount so super super exciting and then he mentioned about gaming, and I was like, ooh, I should give that a try. So, um, part of my issue is I mostly game on my PC. Yeah, Vault's a little, Vault, Vault is a little harder, I would assume, to game if you need your number row, right? Like, that, then it becomes a real issue. Although I could see doing something like, as you move over with Vault, you could do your ESDF, and then your, like, jump could be this space bar, or if you use, like, dual 3Us, whatever. And then your furthest one could be like a layer and tap i don't know just kind of throwing that out there like there's there's ways to do that um but yeah like that's i'm excited for oracle that's that's where i'm getting at with that um all right anyway let's do let's put some switches in like i said this is not gonna take long tonight so let's move that guy to the side we have got the tried and true ktt strawberries and these are not hot swapped. We're not going to do hot swap. We're going to do an actual soldering of the build, which is exciting. I think I'm a little over mill max sockets at this point. Um, just my my poor fingers can't take too much more. So, um, but it's okay. Got like I said, we got these nice KTT strawberries. Um, and we're gonna go. Okay, good. These holes are not super loose, which is great. Oh, don't worry, dude. You're you're good. I just need a break from it just because I did so many yesterday, too, because I did the three boards off stream. But you're good, dude. No worries. I feel bad. Make Will feel bad. No, you're good, man. Um, like I said, I'm just going to take a little break from that more than anything. But um... And we can go back. I know you've got other ones you want hot stuff. I'm kind of jealous. Like, I would, if I, you know... If I was more committed, I think I'd hot swap more boards, but I'm like kind of like enjoy the solder aspect of just putting the switches in and like committing to a switch. And with these with these purple flames, like I said, I know those are going in the Machida. Like I've already decided that they're so good. I'm like, yes, those are going to go into the Machida or whatever. So yeah, no worries, man. For your stuff, we'll, we'll keep going. But we will have to order more. That is for sure. Like I know we will have to order more. So just be prepared. Right. For those of you who did not see the update and you are waiting on Embrace, uh, Embrace cases are shipping to me on Monday. Um, PCBs are in the middle of testing and um, they will be done shortly, if not done already, and they will be shipping to me soon. I have ordered almost all the miscellaneous hardware and parts needed as well, um, including daughter boards and all the other fun stuff. So Embrace is at the finish line almost. We are getting there. We are rounding the final corner. Um, so if you're in on Embrace, soon, I promise. Which is an incredibly fast turnaround time. I thank Chris for his hard work and turning around the board so fast. That was awesome. So... 
Uh, yes, William, we should have very, very limited extras. We should. Um, but we, we're going to make sure everything gets shipped out and gets arrives to everybody first. And then, but yes, we should have extras after that. So don't you fret, my friend. I know, um, someone else had asked an email, so we're starting a wait list. So I can put you on the wait list if you want. Um, oh yeah. And then for... You got to tell me, bud, do you want the 1.25 out here or do you want it on the inside? You need to tell me that. He said, please, to the wait list. Can do. And I did see that you said you might send me some more boards. Send away, man. You're all good. I promise. Like I said, I'm going to send you back stuff so you have it too. Whatever is the standard. I personally put the 1.25 on the outside. Yeah, as I say, on the right. I, I That's my personal preference. Okay. Let me make sure these are strawberries. Yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> I was like, just triple jank. You sent me so many switches. Like, I wanted to be, like, 100% sure. <laughs> Didn't want to screw that up. So, all right. There we go. Put these other ones in in a minute. I actually want to get the get the right layout for um, that bottom row is going to be a little hectic. Okay. Okay, got all those in nice and neat. All the pins are in, perfect. Okay. All right. Put that one in. One of these holes may not be okay. We're good. Never mind. I take that back. We're good. And then if that's on the right, oh wait, actually, I'll need to bust out the keycap for that. We need to make sure. Let's grab a little one point two five, just to triple check. I think that's wrong. I think it actually goes in the one to the left, but in the one to the left, there is a bit of solder, which is blocking the path. So question for the chat, what sets of support for 4.25 use space bar? None, actually, um, which is an interesting thought that they don't. Um, does, does Hub even have a 4.25? I don't think it does, right? Don't think Hub has a, yeah, Hub doesn't have a 4.25 uh, shiny. 4.25 are usually custom um, from like an artisan maker. So like you can find them on um, Asimplex, asimplex.xyz. You can find them there. Um, I've got two that I got from Atari Zero in the Discord server when he did his little group buy thing, which was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, they they're not um, they're not standard on any key sets. What board are you thinking you want to do 4.25 on? I'd be kind of, I want to curious. I'm kind of curious to hear that from you. JD40. Let me make sure we've got the layout correct. There, I saw it. There it was. All right, one U, one U, one U, 1.25. And then the space bars, which are 1.75. Uh, I don't know what version these are, Nap. I will have to defer to William, and he will have to tell me. These are super smooth and nice, too, so... I have to actually... Okay, yeah, we're right. Okay. Yeah. Had to make sure that was in the right spot. I'm getting a Pomelo, and I have a PCB that supports it, so I was just curious about it. Yeah, you'll just have to get a custom one done from an artisan maker or pick one up on, like, um, um, one of the 
um, aftermarket channels, something like that. You'll also need a 4.25 stab wire if you don't have one. Um, so be aware, you will need that. William says, not sure, bought them cheap off mech market and receiving the pines. I like these though. Yeah, these are good. I like the switches too. There we go. Yeah, Trashman sells those, so I wasn't too worried about the stab, but that's making for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, there we go. There's 1.25 right there. And then... 1.75 which means this goes here and then the other 1.75 man i gotta tell you guys it's so nice that the makers are labeling the switch holes now uh because this old school if you didn't know this is a real bitch oh that switch is not gonna sit perfectly but that's fine and then is this oh it's a it's a uniform layout oh interesting okay I did not know it was a uniform layout, which is kind of funny to me. Nope, not that close. There we go. Easy. You believe that either Cam Wraith or SA Nantucket will go on this. Okay, cool. It's a good choice. I'm gonna put candy bar uh, black on white on it tonight just for the ease of use and because it's kind of OG. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Rage is here. What's going on, Rage? How are you? Hope you're doing all right tonight. All right. We are ready to start soldering. That was quick. But I said it would be quick tonight, so. Whoa. I gotta find a way to get that switch more accessible. That's really far for me to reach. But, awesome. All right, this does not have to be centered up. We're good. You guys will be able to see that. Get the soldering iron going again. We're gonna start soldering here. And I feel much more confident now that I have this mat, which is great. Also, not having to be like, super duper careful with the soldering with like trying to get it around the Milmax socket is much nicer i'm not gonna lie so much nicer and because these were old um switch or were desoldered the solder like the the leftover red oh. yeah there we go the leftover residue just helps melt the solder like that much faster so like this will be very quick tonight which is cool i'm doing a lot of work tonight so if you could do like five more vaults that would be ideal <laughs> we can definitely hang out on stream though that's for sure like we can definitely hang out on stream there's like i said i knew this would be a quick build um maybe if william's got like one other one that's got to be soldered i can look at that and we can kind of go the little rogue i don't know which one would be a good fit for that um but we can always go take a look too so i'll have to look at the list i think the cons i think the easy other reason too is there's no stabs on this build it's stabless so that's also why i was looking forward to it i was like cool i don't have to pull out the grease i don't have to lube like this will be super super nice so yeah we're good with the layout Rage, what are you doing for the holidays, man? I'm very curious. Are you going to go do anything? Are you staying in town? What does your Thanksgiving look like? I think programming this may be a little bit of a bitch. 
because I don't believe it... Well, I don't know. It could still use... Um, I know it's QMK, but I can't remember... We'll figure it out. Why was from Georgia and apparently Thanksgiving casseroles are tradition? Like, as in, like, they just are throwing everything in the pot? Are you talking about, like, green bean casserole or, like, a different one in particular? I'm very curious. You've sparked my interest. Yeah, green bean, broccoli, veg, yeah. Just like Thanksgiving is a turkey and a shit ton of casseroles might just be our family. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like sweet potato casserole. Sweet potato casserole with a lot of marshmallows on top. Let's go. Um, but, like, the homemade stuff. Don't give me, like, that store-bought box shit. You know what I mean? Um, we do we do turkey we also do a honey baked ham like i love honey baked ham i think i'm more i like that more than than turkey honestly the ham is my jam <laughs> the ham is my jam all right my wife's going to pick that up tomorrow actually and then like i said we're driving two hours to eatonton georgia um yeah, all homemade, exactly. Yeah, Eatonton, Georgia, which has this little lake, and we rented a house through Airbnb that's super, super nice. It's like three bedroom, three bath, something like that. Um, so it's my wife, myself, my daughter, and then our family friends and their kid. So that should be a lot of fun. Gnarly, if you're frying, please, please, please be careful. I was just talking about that. So a lot of my coworkers are in Canada and we were talking about, um, they were like, they've never had fried turkey, deep fried turkey. And I was like, yeah, it's like one of the most dangerous ways to cook ever. And really it just becomes from like the overflow possibility and then on the flames and then you have an oil fire and it's really a bitch. So yeah, awesome. Yeah, I've seen too many people do like really crappy jobs of, um, putting something, putting the turkey onto something like a hoist or whatever, not using like all the precautions. Like I know Alton Brown had um, a really, really good like ladder setup and whatever. Um, one of my buddies one year had like the best setup I've ever seen, which is an engine hoist. So um, I thought that was really smart. Just literally didn't have to worry about the, well, he had to worry about the turkey falling off, but he had a very secure way with the engine hoist, which was cool. Um, but yeah, give me like a Cajun deep fried turkey. I'm all in. Come on. Why are you struggling? Or you should make a cookbook. Yeah. Why the fuck do you need an engine hoist? You shouldn't be frying anything over 14 pounds anyway. I think he just was doing it for, like, security and having having a secure hold. It was just kind of funny to me. Plus, he was able to keep, like, a safe distance away, so... Speaking of food, uh, my wife and I stopped at a local Jamaican place, unironically called Cool Runnings, uh, tonight, and their jerk chicken, like, I've had them a bunch, their jerk chicken is so good, and super spicy, like, the good spice, where there's flavor, it's not just heat to, like, have heat, but, like, legitimately in their jerk sauce, which they give you some extra on the side, I can taste, like, the fruit, and then the pepper... And, like, the heat is, like, a back-end heat that just builds over... Oh, it's so good. I had... I had, um... They're jerk wings tonight, and they were just awesome.
Like I can still, I can still taste them. Like if that makes sense. Like just the, they're that good that like, my brain is like, oh yeah, these are what these taste like. And I had them two hours ago, two and a half hours ago. Alright, uh, should have stuck with one row at a time, instead I decided to get funny and do both the bottom and top row. Why did I do that? There we go. I do you like the race, is it like frying a turkey is the spectacle? Yeah, I would agree with that. Are you guys getting tempted by any of these keyboard Black Friday deals? Um, I personally am not. My dumbass spent all like my extra disposable money on keyboard stuff for the month, uh, like yesterday and the day before. So, whoops. Um, oh, I forgot about the Canon key sets. Um, I may have to do those. Um, I've got plenty of switches now. I've got tons of switches. In fact, I made a list. Uh, I was talking to someone. Might have to pause here a second and go over this list because I have a lot of switches now, or at least in transit switches. So I showed and told you guys about the purple flames. Um, what else did I get? I have JWK Tarot Tactiles. They're okay. I've, I've messed around with them. I've got Gateron Milky Cap Yellows. Pretty good. I've got uh, Untransit Owl Lab Neon Linear Switches. They're for the garbage truck rebuild that we're going to do. I have Texi Lake Blue Switches coming. Those look interesting. We'll give them a try. I've got the Purple Flames. I showed them. And then I have FLC MMK Ice Mint Lanier's, which seem pretty good, but need better lubing. So, yeah. Um... A lot of switches coming so i don't think i need any switches from like the black friday stuff unless like unless something like absolutely blows me away in terms of like pricing i think i'm good on switches i may look at some key uh keycap sets just because i'm kind of running up on to like oh hey i'm starting to assign out keycaps to every board i own um like i've still got phosphorus i've still got candy bar black on white candy bar purple on white um and i have I do need to sell my e PBT black on white. I do need to sell that. Um, but I want some more, like, PBT fans. I may get clean blue. Um, I also may look at um, Spark or... Not Spark. Um, what's the gray one? Maybe that is Spark. One of the other PBT fans that I may look at, too. So we'll see. I don't need any, like, GMK stuff, at least. Me, personally. Oh, wait, uh-oh. Trying to solder a hole that doesn't have a switch, dummy. Yeah, oh yeah, the, the Dolch looks good. Uh, Resonance looks pretty good. What's the one that's the gray, and then it's got, like, the blue, ac the light blue accents with the yellow as well? I can't remember. That I'm kind of thinking about, too. Twist, I think? I actually sold one of my, uh, one of the alpha gamer sets I sold to somebody was the blue cola gaming set, and... I, they actually hit me up randomly because I posted my um, 
Alpha Keycaps gamer set from Johan, the Terminal Green. And he was like, hey, where did you get the Alpha set? And I had to explain to him that it was like a one-off that Alpha, that Johan did for me as like a really nice gesture. He was like, oh darn. I said, are you still enjoying the blue cola? And he's like, yeah, I love this set. And I was like, you should look at clean blue because that would go really well with it, I think. And he said, I already ordered it. So I'd be curious to see how that turns out. It's nice to see some of the stuff that I've owned being used by people and they're happy with it, which is exciting. So. Which reminder in the theme stuff, like outside of the switches in the Machida, I'm going theme white on black. I didn't think I would, but it's just, I have to. I have to go with Hiragana white on black on that, even though that the compat for 13U is not great. I need to do it. Um, because white on black Hiragana didn't come with an R2 delete for some reason, so. Speaking of R2 delete, I do have GMK Yugo for sale, if anybody's interested. No 40s comp hit, but uh, I know that was a somewhat desired set, so. Just throwing that out there, I do have that for sale. It is missing R2 delete, though. The person I'm proxying for to, would like to sell it, so trying to keep it stateside. You know, I'm just going to come out and say it. It may be time almost for me to get a new... Uh, new soldering iron. This thing is like wobbling. It's not very steady. And I've had this thing for five years now, so it's served its purpose, but there we go. I think that's everything. Honestly, I don't get tired of seeing white on black Katakana, even though it's the 40 set. Yeah. switches. Done. Let's turn this off. Alright, turn off the soldering iron. Look at that. Alright, um, let's put this together real fast. Make sure the reset button lines up. Should be over here, I think. Or did it have a reset button? Oh, it does. It's up here. But it's up here. Okay, well, I guess you can just program reset. Weird. Whatever, it goes this way. Okay, so let's get the hardware. These beautiful red standoffs. These are nice. P3D just posted the red coat showcase with it. So good. You talking about the Prisma? That cool looking board? Gnarly says cartridge tip soldering irons are the way. You'll have to link me, Gnarly. I definitely want to see. But uh, to go back to Rage and talking about P3D and the the Prisma, yeah, the one with the cool design on the back with all the little pieces. Well, that sucks. Oh, at least the screw stayed. Hey, the screw stayed. Cool. All right, we're good. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah, I may know something about that board. Is that obvious enough? I may know something about that. Um, although, 
I may be looking at another color uh, to build. Just saying. Um, I actually talked to talk to the designer of that board today, so rather interesting. Uh, thank you, Gnarly. I'll check it out. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's the only leaks you get. That's the only leaks you get. I was I was given some today, just literally some leaks. That's about it. Um, but yeah, I do know about that board. That's all I'll say. Should be pretty cool. It's kind of different and unique. All right. Want the sticker to match. So put it there. And these guys can go in, and now I actually do need the Allen key. Do any of you guys have like outside of like my big tools? Do you guys have like 20 different Allen keys? I feel like I do. There's like so many. I was trying to find the right one. Seems like a real struggle. Okay, this is the right one. Oops. One in this. There we go. Do, uh, do any of you guys play Call of Duty by chance? I don't know if I've asked you that. I know you guys know I play Warzone and stuff, but I don't know if any of you guys actually play Call of Duty. Pretty happy. I got my EBR gold last night, which took a while. Got the RAL gold. I've got the MCP300 gold. I've got the M4 gold. I've got the Castoff 762 gold. I've got the Another one I got gold. Another sniper. Oh, the SPR. The SB, the SAB-50. Got like three marksman rifles knocked out gold, which is nice. So. Williams says, my son just started playing and loves it. That's awesome. Yeah. Been happy with this year so far. There's been, you know, the UI is shitty. And there's been some bugs. But the gameplay itself is really solid, so. Played Overwatch 1, but low-key boycotting Overwatch 2 because of the extreme monetization. Yeah, I understand that. Unfortunately, like, every, it seems like every single game is going to that, which sucks. Um, but I think it just, unfortunately, like, comes with the territory these days now. So you just gotta be real picky and choosy on, you know, the games and stuff. William says he'll stick with Splatoon. Okay. I really like this red carbon fiber. I'm not going to lie. I really like it. I didn't think I would. And I remember like back in the day, I didn't like it. I didn't like the idea of a skeleton case for some reason. Um, but this is nice. I like this. And with the strawberries, it looks good. And it's a little, it's a hair darker in person than it is on the camera. So there we go. Look, I saved the mat. Didn't hurt myself. Didn't hurt the mat. Put the silicone over there. Awesome. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, water's in. So I'm using an old pencil case. Uh, we don't need the big space bars as much as I would like them. In fact, we don't need any stabilized key. And I think unfortunately the 1.75 U's are concave not convex i think on this set so we'll find out let's um let's let's see first let's have some fun oh wait no this is uh yeah i think all of them are convex i almost counted a because of the vault 35 <laughs> a s d f g h j here we go that's so funny. I almost did that. Um, that's now a force of habit because of the vault, which is 
which is good. I mean, it makes me be more efficient, but it's just funny too. So, we'll need an alt. Uh, Q W E. ZX. How did I get all the all the big keys out of there? GHJ. Uh, we'll need the one point seven five shift. The right side? No, right? That's not 1.75, is it? No, that's 1.5. I'm an idiot. Andrew's here. Street Spirit, what's up, man? What's going on? Speaking of saving mats, I owe you for the one I borrowed. Spilled coffee on it. Whoops. You have a mat for me? I don't remember that. Maybe you should just be quiet. I don't. I literally don't remember you borrowing a mat from me. Eddie's here. I blink. Is Eddie? What's going on, man? Hope you're having a nice night. I will be on Call of Duty shortly. I do not have a mat. Space one. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, you know you can wash them, right? Like, did you wash it? You can wash mats if you if you weren't aware. Oh, that's gonna, this is gonna tip in a second. Eddie, thank you for the resub. I appreciate that. S subscribe for three months, he says. Yeet. Thank you, sir. Genuinely appreciate that. Thank you. I will be on shortly. TXCVBN. We can yell and use the soundboard together uh, and piss people off in the Call of Duty lobby. It's my favorite thing in the world, honestly. I talk so much shit in Call of Duty lobbies, too. It's pretty funny. All right, let's go with white with the 1.75s. May even have to flip them. Wash things. That's not very gamer of me. Yeah, okay. There we go. Alright. Um, so we need... I was looking for the accented... I don't know if they made a black accented 1.75 inner. I don't think they did. Which is kind of a fail on their part, in my opinion. Yeah, it doesn't look like they did. Which is stupid. They should have done it. Oh, wait. Yes, they did. Okay. That's good. I'm going to go black. Give it a little accent. We'll do an accent and escape up here. Or tab or whatever. I know there's one in here. There has to be. Of course, this set has let me down in the past already. So, oh, yeah. These are all 1U, right? And 1.25 here. I almost feel like there's too many, too many keys over here on the bottom row. Where is this escape? I know there's an escape here somewhere. RTY, not this one. I'm pretty sure there's an accent in escape. Put the shift here. Um, there's an enter, control, a function. Figure out where those go in a sec. GH. JKL. UIOP. Only acceptable alternative to washing things for gamer is hitting it with compressed air. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Man, I remember when I used to look at like your OG 40s like this. I used to think like, how could anyone use this? You're missing, you know, like, yeah, I knew about layers, but like, I was so stuck on the idea of like thumb layers. I was like, well, what do you do about missing the symbols over here? And it... God, I feel dumb thinking that way. Cause now I look and I'm like, man, I know what to do. This is super easy. And this is how I would have my layout, etc. So it's just funny how we tend to evolve over time and or at least most people do. And you kind of get comfortable with new things, etc. So, 
It's been a fun journey so far. And I still love 40s. 40s forever. 40s for life. Um, we don't need a 1.5 function. See, the problem is now I need a bunch of, like, one-use stuff. So, like, control, alt. Something gooey, maybe? I don't know. It's not going to matter. William's going to program it how he wants it. There's backspace. There's another function. ER. There's V. Another code. Another shift. Spacebar. There's a T. Control. We know control will go down here, so it's fine. There's F. Whenever Will talks in chat, I'm just going to assume he's driving. <laughs> yeah, I still, I still can't believe Will was trying to talk and drive um, the other night. But hey, it's all good. He survived, so we're, we're okay. Yeah, see, I don't think there's a accented. That's crazy to me. There's no accented escape. Like that's, that's the one you should have. There's an accented tab, and there's a wrong profile, row profile tab. Uh, escape, I mean, that's accented, but I don't know, it just seems weird and dumb. Alt. Let's do this. Let's do um, let's do where are you? There was another 1.25 somewhere. The lack of, yeah, I'm, okay. Like, it doesn't really matter, but it just bothers me. That's fine. Function. Menu. Is there no other, like, one you? What are you putting in my chat? What are you putting in my chat? He's just trying to be funny and make something. I don't know. Oh, cat X? You're gonna blame it on the cat? Okay. This man's cat is so undisciplined, and then I realized, like, does anybody actually ever discipline a cat? Probably not. There's a reason I don't have cats. I, I, I'm allergic to them, first of all, but. There's a reason I don't have cats, so. All right, let's hear how this sounds. It is a skeleton case, so keep that in mind. Stock KTT strawberries on what is essentially carbon fiber. So. Yeah, um, I'm with Nap. It's it's slightly hollow, but to be expected when you have literally all this space in the middle of it. Um, but I will say this: like, got struggle busting over here. There we go. Okay, the strawberries sound great or feel great. They sound pretty good in general too. Like, if I pick it up off the case, or off the the desk, it sounds good. So I put it down, but again, like everybody's desk is different. But this sounds good. And it looks cool. Like, in my opinion, like I always like this look. Like it's 
just simple and basic and lightweight, which is really nice, right? Especially having the carbon fiber. It's a good looking board. I'm glad my desolder gun worked perfectly and I didn't have any issues and I got to... They were what? What were in here, Will? It was uh, Gateron, uh, Gat Yellows and... I don't know what the green ones and the modifiers were. It was kind of weird. Something like that. It was some weird, weird switch. Gat Yellows. Yeah, but the, what were the modifiers? They were green. I don't think they were like... Gat yeah, Greens? Okay. So yeah, like... It could always be worse, right? It could always be worse. Um, all right. Sorry, I got notified on GeekHack. Uh, the Machida thread is live, which is exciting. So, hey, Marari showed it up. All right, let's cool. Let's cool. Let's go. And an old Cherry MX black for space bar. That's right. I knew I just soldered a, a black uh, in the space bar. So, um. This is a nice board. I, I'd be pretty pleased with this. I think, man, Will, you're going to get this back. You're going to get five of the vaults back. You're going to get TMO. You're going to get JD45. Get some nice stuff back, man. So um, that's exciting. You'll get it hopefully by the weekend, and then you can use it again, which is great. Um, Marari, yes. Yes, it is, right? It's still a vibe. I just got done. Like I said, it's a short stream tonight. Tonight was very short. It was going to be quick but that was the point we're about to roll into the holiday um which is exciting for me get some time to spend with the family and stuff um and hopefully you guys get to as well um huh. william did say i missed this he said that the back in the day the the gat switches were cutting edge yes they were and now look right where we are now and there's a thousand freaking choices for switches and as i said for those of you that weren't here at the start of the switches or start of the switch start of the stream bleh, i can't speak tonight um i'm really really happy with these super expensive um ttc purple flame switches in my opinion they don't need any modification out of the box they sound fantastic they are super smooth a pox stem um, they look fantastic, but they are $30 plus shipping for 36 of them. So they are pricey. We're almost in zeal territory. Almost, not quite there. Uh, the presentation was really nice too. I love the box and stuff. So, um, have a beer on me. Check your donos. Okay. I will need to do so. I don't know why I didn't get notified about that. That's kind of disappointing. Let's see what's up. <laughs> And if you sent me a message, I'm sorry. I don't know why it didn't. It didn't pop. Um, <laughs> there we go. Five dollars from. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I need to set it up so that you can put a message or something. But thank you. I appreciate the five dollar donation. That's massive. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Uh, that's you are my first dono, by the way. Uh, since I've been running the stream. You are my first dono. I'll never ask for them. I won't beg for them. Um, I don't think you get priority in anything, uh, just FYI. But like I said, everything that you guys put into the stream with subs and I guess don donations, etc., cetera, um, that all gets put right back into the stream. So the, when you do that, it goes right back into the two, though. So um, he's <laughs> Marari subscribed with Prime. They've subscribed for three months. One of these two. Thank you, man. I really do appreciate you. I am sad that uh, we will not get to go hang out and do drinks and or uh, food anytime soon. I, I That was fun. I, I really did enjoy um, hanging out and doing late night pho and just chilling before you left. That was that was really, really enjoyable. So thank you, man. I appreciate it. I hope that the move went smooth. I hope that you are settled in and all that fun stuff. So um, that's that's exciting, man. Happy for you. It's okay, I can't ruin your stream in person as easily anymore. I actually enjoyed when you were here too. Don't don't bullshit. You had fun. It's all good. I, I had fun too. So no no worries there. Um, thank you, man. I appreciate it. By the way, for those of you who don't know, um, sun, Sunday? Monday. 20th. What's today? Today's 22nd, 21st, 20th. Sunday evening, uh, I became uncle. I'm Uncle Toby now, which is really exciting. My... Uh, my little sister, my only sibling, but my little sister had uh, her baby, 
a healthy girl, six pounds, 14 ounces, I think. Um, yeah, Sloan. So super excited to be Uncle Toby now, uh, as well as a dad. All right, I will be uh, a dad of two come March, um, but uh, to be an uncle now, I get to spoil my my sister's kid and, and be the crazy uncle, which is kind of fun. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, my sister was awesome. She was great being an aunt so far to my daughter. Um, and she'll continue to, I'm sure, be an awesome aunt uh, going forward. Um, but yeah, I'm Uncle Uncle Toby, Uncle Hedgie, Uncle T, however you want to call me. Uncle T kind of has a nice ring to it. So super excited for that. Thought I'd share. That's uh, some awesome news. Thank you for the congratulations. It's exciting. Hopefully I can go see her at some point in the next month. Um, my sister's up in Raleigh, so getting up there is not the easiest it's either like an hour flight but you gotta go through the airport which is a real pain in the ass or it's a six hour drive that's there's no in between so we'll, we'll i'm sure we'll find time next month to get up there and see her which will be really exciting so that's cool um but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it short tonight like again i think we'll we'll have a much better uh or not better i want to say better let me rewind that we're gonna have a much longer uh more involved stream with the machita um, I'm really, really looking forward to that. Do you guys want me to show that off one more time? I know a couple of people arrived late, um, but I'm super, super looking forward to this build. It's, it's going to be a banger. Oh my God. Is it going to be good? Super looking forward to this one. I'll pull it out again. I don't care. Um, there we go. I like this carry case. Oh yeah, these are the ones that we're basically getting for Oceanographer that are the Eternus case. It's basically the same thing, so. Because I know Morari wasn't here and Morari didn't see the build, so. One more time for those of you that missed it last week. Uh, this is the Machida. Um, I did infill it, so I'll show off that underside infill in a second again. Um, <laughs> but it's okay. Fuck off, Morari. Uh, I did do the infill, so I'm super, super happy with how the infill came out. Um, and on camera, it looks even better than it does in person, so that makes me super happy. But that design is sick, and the infill looks fantastic, in my opinion. Um, and then, of course, this side profile is so good. Such a nice curve. The front's nice, yeah. Subtle Asian traits, am I right? <laughs> well, Marari, if you weren't hanging around a few minutes ago, um, I'm putting GMK white on black hiragana on it. <laughs> so we might as well just skip the whole subtlety and just be like full out Asian traits, right? <laughs> so again, I'm looking forward to building this next week. Uh, when we come back from Thanksgiving, it'll be really awesome. I'm gonna take my sweet ass time. We're putting TCC purple flames into it. Um, yes, Japanese on a Korean theme board. Deal with it. Um, I'm mixing Asian cultures. <laughs> How dare me. <laughs> I don't have, um, I don't have, um, I guess, do they make white on black hang hankol? Hankol? Um, I don't think they do, right? They have black on white, and they have, like, beige, like, classic, but not white on black, I don't think. No, they don't. They don't. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to put on there. So deal with it. Sorry. Uh, it's just also it looks really good. And it will continue to look good. So, um, But yeah, I'm excited for that build. Again, like I don't have to lube the switches, which is nice. We're going to do the six, the 7U layout. So a nice big 7U layout, uh, which is awesome. Um, I'm excited. That'll be a really, really good build. And that might take... I don't know if it'll take over for the vault for a while like i still from like a work perspective this vault is so good it's so damn good and now with the purple flames in here they sound incredible i um, mean you can see the purple in there like i love this board oh and i'm supposed to send uh tenor the layout that i use and don't let me forget that um it's so good i love this board and so oracle's gonna kick ass i'm gonna get in on that 
I think I get another curio because I was part of the proto run. I think Kane is giving us a curio for like a super discounted cost. So I end up with another curio. Got Pegasus coming. J the Legacy 45. The Machida. Eventually Pearl R2. I don't know if Field Trip is ever going to happen. I, I got to be honest. I don't know if Field Trip is ever going to happen. So like... Let's let's have some real talk here. I know Nap has, and I have have spoken about um, about oh Will got a curio. Interesting, you got a proto. Interesting. Okay. Um, I just want to clear some air real fast about oceanographer. Um, as you guys can see, let me turn this way. You can still see the cases. I still have them here. I've got people who vouch for me. Um, <sighs> Communicating with Taylor has been very hard. He has been dealing with some very personal issues, and I am very well aware of that. Um, I've made every... Sorry, this is distracting. Give me one sec. All right. I have made every effort to take as much off of his plate as possible. Like, I want to be very clear about this. And this isn't me throwing him under the bus. Like, I want to be very clear about that, too. Like, this just needs to be said, and I know that this recording will be out there for two weeks, and I know that this recording will end up on YouTube, but it needs to be said. I'm doing everything within reason to help facilitate where I can, and he's not taking some of that, like, some of that help, which has been very hard, uh, because I feel like I don't have any control of certain parts of the situation that I need to have. Here's what I do know. We have the cases, the weights, and the brass plates. We have the OLEDs, the knobs, and the encoders. Those are some of the main components. What I don't have are the PCBs, and I'm waiting on a status update. I've pinged him twice today. I'm going to ping him late tonight. I need a status on the PCBs. I know he has the carrying cases. He even was afraid that I didn't believe him, and he sent me a timestamp picture uh, of the carrying cases in his house. So I know he has those. But he was supposed to ship them two weeks ago to me. That hasn't happened yet. Um, the FR4 plates are part with the PCB. Um, the case screws. He has all the case screws. Initially we thought he was going to fulfill them. Um, and those are with him right now. Because I had sent them there. I need him to send them back to me. Um, shipping boxes. He's supposed to order them and send them to me. So, like, five things that need to happen. PCBs and FR4 plates, the carry cases, and the case hardware and shipping boxes. So, four plus or minus one. Those need to happen. As soon as they do, as soon as they are in my hand, and he gives me a shipping list, I have a label printer, I have the orders ready, I'm going to literally spend an entire weekend and hustle through and get them shipped out. That's where we stand. So I just want to get that out there. I know a lot of people have been asking. Again, I apologize that it's taken so long to get these to you guys. Um, I hate that I have the cases here. Like it, it, It's like I do want to get them out of my house. Um, but I am stuck waiting for parts and pieces. And it's just been slow. And I say that about the field trip knowing what Taylor's going through. And being in the group buy, and I know there's like, what, 20 some odd people, 30 people in that group buy, because um, it was very limited. I just don't know if it's going to happen. I'm just going to be honest. And I'm not trying to put fear into anybody. I just know what I know. I can't share what's going on with Taylor, but I can share that I have concerns about him finishing out the remaining projects along with my own damn project. Because I feel like him not completing what he needs to for me is holding up not only Ocean, but it's holding up some other projects I have in mind as well. Morari knows about them. I've talked with him. I think Dan, Big Dan knows about them. Um, I've talked with a few people about some other cool stuff I want to do. And I'm not comfortable doing that until Oceanographer is out the door. So just wanted to be clear. I didn't mean to get like all super serious, but I just needed everybody to know, like, here's the status. Here's what's going on with these boards. I will still have extras. I will still make sure everybody gets a working 
A plus condition board in their hand if you ordered one in the group buy. That will happen. I can promise you that one way or another. Um, it looks like I'm not going to make any money. I'm probably going to lose some money on this, but my goal is to get them out. And I think the worst thing you can do is when shit goes south is ghost everybody. That's the worst thing you can do because it just piles on. It's not going to go away. I'm here. I haven't left. So the ocean's still going to happen. It's still going to go out to everybody. I just ask your continued patience as we get through the holidays. I don't have a timeline. I wish I did. Who knows? Maybe shit will just like show up at my doorstep in the next couple of weeks and like I can deal with it. But I just want to uh, I just wanted to put that out there. And William with the <laughs> I'm in for an extra ocean if possible when time comes. I just to put that out there. Uh, we will. We will have we will have extras, I promise. Um, some of them are B stock, which I may send off to Jake and have him do, you know, some color corrections or whatever. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but I appreciate your patience. Didn't mean to get super serious. Just had to let you know what was happening um, and get that out there. Will says you're great. Thanks for letting everyone know what's going on to your classic. I try, man. I try. And um, I feel like I know people like know I'm kind of an a-hole sometimes. I feel like I've toned that down a little bit. I still can be there. It can still pop in rear its ugly head. But, like, watching Keeb Noob stream last night um, when she was building the Machida, and I came in and I followed and I gifted a couple subs, and she said, you know, if you don't know Hedgy, he's, he's like, a, a legend and an icon in the hobby. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, thank you. I didn't think I, didn't think I was. Like, I don't see myself as that. But I also see myself as someone that you guys like listening to, you like watching, you like, you know interacting with obviously like i'm i'm i have fun interactions with you i love how low-key the stream is too um and and i mentioned this last time and marari was the one who pointed out to me i i don't stream because i have to i stream because i want to right so i'm not like bound by any of this and i enjoy it and i appreciate the support i say all that to say i appreciate the support thank you so much i'm glad you guys trust my opinion and i hope you don't take everything i say for gospel um yes you're on a legend stream Andrew, goddamn. Um, like, I hope you don't take everything I say for gospel. Like, go find your own opinions. Go form them. Go try things. Like I said, I pimped the TTC Purple Flames tonight. I love them. But it doesn't mean, like, I want you to go spend all your money on these switches. Like, go try something. Find something that works for you, right? Like, I hope I continue to be somewhat of a good influence on the hobby and you guys and try and help out with all that. So, um thank you again for being here thank you for participating obviously a tremendous continued shout out to william for sending all this stuff so i can build and have continued content for weeks on end knowing he's still gonna send more shit like that's fun it's exciting right um next week will be my personal build with machita that should be a lot of fun and it'll be really really nice that looks like a really high-end board so it looks awesome um We'll get to the vault legacy vaults because those are going to be great too my fx cosmic over graphite williams hunter orange that looks like a traffic cone <laughs> it's cool looking um we've got all the other stuff from William. we got to build still too so i'm getting there and, and i appreciate the continued support hopefully i can continue to grow the stream and find more reasons i know we've got some designers who are going to send me some more things too uh <clears throat> zeus is going to send me one um Rage already mentioned it today. Um, I think at some point I'm going to build an Oracle on stream. That's really exciting. Um, I know Evan's got hard on coming as well. So I'm going to build that like looking in the future. And then I say into the future, like rolling into 2023, we're going to have a lot to do. Um, what this stream holds for me going forward. I don't know. Come March, end of March, when my daughter is here, my second daughter, I don't know if I'll have time. I should. I might. There might be like a month gap as we get settled with two kids, but I should still stream at that point. I don't think I'll stop. It just may be a little bit longer between. I don't know though. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So um, nothing's guaranteed. Thank you guys so much for the support. I Again, I, I stream because I enjoy it. I like hanging out with you. I like that you like hanging out on here. I try and keep it pretty chill and, and low key. So Thank you guys again. I hope you had fun checking out the OG 40, uh, JD 40, the 40, the one that really kind of started it all. 
Uh, Rhymer says, take all the time you need. We aren't going anywhere. <laughs> it's all good. And look, it's like, if you look at it, the hobby has slowed down tremendously from two years ago. And we're all still here. So I'm not going to go anywhere either, I don't think. I'm not going to stop partaking in the hobby. It just may slow down for a few minutes. But that's okay. We're good. Oh, I still have to rebuild the garbage truck and the MB44. I've got a lot to do before March. There's a lot we have to do. <laughs> so um, I'm ordering plates from Jake soon for the MB44 and the garbage truck. Um, I've got, yeah, people don't have a lot of money too. Like, I understand that. Um, the garbage truck's going to be a rebuild with a theme, which is exciting too. The MB44, I don't know if there'll be a theme. It'll just be rebuilding it, make it even better based on what I saw at the... Uh, at the meetup oh yeah i think william's got an mb44 that i still have to do as well two of them right yeah you two that's right two <laughs> Jeez, there's so many good boards still to be to be done so um really looking forward to continuing that i hope you guys have a fantastic thanksgiving if you celebrate if you don't i hope you have a great week and weekend um i'm gonna go tomorrow and enjoy myself on a lake for four days five days and just chill and relax with my friends and my wife and my kid um and then like i said i'm gonna come back and yeah can i send you a board that like maybe eight people in total have lmao yeah i mean marari send me whatever it's all good it's all good you know that you should already know that uh, but thank you guys you too turkey and or enjoy the day off for those who don't celebrate exactly that's right so thank you guys so much have a wonderful night, and I will catch you next week. Enjoy the holiday. Bye.